Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Clint and welcome to this video and today we're going to discuss about how to uh, work as a virtual assistant and working as a virtual assistant basically means you're just going to uh, serve clients with what you have, uh, what currently skill set that you already built up. So basically one of those is working with videos, uploading and downloading and moving things around and so on and so forth and you know business owners don't have much time uh, on other technical things of their business so you need to assist them you as a virtual assistant you need to help them as much as possible that you could free up time for them so your mindset as a virtual assistant is very important that uh, you wanted to be of help to the business owners so that they could focus more on other side of their business doing what they have to do for the growth and scalability of their business all right so one of the things that you could do as a virtual assistant as a tech person for uh, your client is uh, like this you built up a skill set on how to upload videos pretty much easy task to do so for example this task is about downloading video from other source um, uh, converting them if they're just too huge or too large file so let me try to download this so download is 203 MB and let's go and save that save us and I'm gonna save that on uh, the proper folder on my client folder and I'm gonna go ahead and name a new folder here called case study case studies and one of the things that you do as a virtual assistant or so work as technical team is to be organized as much as possible for your clients so that when they ask you things you will be able to easily respond and get back to them what they're needing for it so for example if you have multiple clients that you're already working with um, you will have you will really have a hard time uh, getting into the things uh, when you are to disorganize so now let me just uh, quickly get into this so final for submission in before I'm just gonna rename this later on according to the content of the video so that's part of your task you know now the download is done and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename that uh, based on the customer or the person that owns the video so this was I think this was the person Priston Pugmer I don't know how to read that so there we go we are going to upload the video but uh, for this I think 200 MB is just too huge as a file for the video which basically eats a lot of bandwidth so what I'm gonna do is first convert the video into a smaller file or a web optimized let's just try it if it's gonna be worth it so here uh, there's what we call software called handbrake handbrake is a conversion or video conversion tool that you could uh, make the video uh, optimized right so let's go ahead and get into my folder and find that video that we just uh, downloaded and then we're going to get into the video exact video and again you have to organize because uh, so that you know where should you go when you need to work on that specific file so this is what i always teach to my team that they have to make sure that they we are working uh sync uh sync what do you call that uh in sync or collab collaboratively okay <laughs> make sure you collaborate collaborate okay so the end goal of being a teammate or part of the team member is that you have to make sure that what you do will be able to be collaborative wow it's hard to pronounce I'm not a English person right I'm not bright I'm not brilliant right so uh, here um, I uploaded it or I downloaded it to Google Google Drive <laughs> because it's going to be synced to our team folder and everybody would be able to edit this for example I'm not able to get this work done I will just be able to uh, comment to my team hey 
I'm not able to get this done. Can you finish this? So they already have the files and everything because we are in sync. We collaborate on every part of the work, right? So I'll keep that in mind. Now this is how you go and convert things in Handbrake. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose, click this web optimized. So web optimized means it's going to convert this video to make it uh, optimized and easy to load in a browser, in a web, in a worldwide web. Now let's go ahead and go to video. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna check this average bit rate. They recommend, uh, as I watch on videos on YouTube, uh, they recommend 800, but I don't recommend as much. Uh, I think 200 and uh, 2700, probably good. And then for the audio, uh, 160, and you're good. And the next thing you need to do is to find a location to where you should save this. And I already copied the name earlier. So what I'm going to do is just to get into that folder again and here we go. And that is the name of the file, but I'm going to name it to, uh, to the person. Remember that, that I already copied this name earlier. So it's already pasted in my clipboard. So I paste it up and click save. I'm going to name it dot mp4 and save and viola uh, it's already named here and I'm gonna go and start the queue or encoding and you see that now uh, it's starting to encode or convert the video and hopefully after the conversion it will make the file smaller so that it will eat lesser bandwidth but the quality of the video still remains okay so if you watch this video here Trying to watch this. Jake, Preston Pragmire. I have a business called Next Level. Level. Okay, so his name is Pragmire. <laughs> okay, so you see that uh, it's it has a good quality video. So we have to make sure that after the conversion, the file is smaller, but it still has the quality. All right, so it still has uh, almost the same quality. No, not much of a distortion. Uh, no pixel eight pixels and so on and so forth. So you see it's 203 MB for now. So after the conversion, let's just wait and what we will get. So that's part of the work of virtual listen you are going to convert. So one of the things I, I wanted to discuss here is that being a, uh, a worker or a, a person that works assists for your clients, you have to make sure that you know a lot uh, you know the things, tools. It, it, it doesn't necessarily have that. It doesn't necessarily that you know a lot. You just have to know specific tools. You just have to use specific tools for specific tasks. For example, for this converting video, you know what are the tools that you already have that you could use. Um, because a part of the day-to-day -day job uh, of you being uh, an assistant is that to um, uh, convert video upload video um, you know where, where to upload what are the locations what what are the features of those website or platform that you're using so for example in this in this uploading we're going to do in Wistia so Wistia I don't know if this is the correct pronunciation I haven't heard how this is being pronounced in English but probably that's Wistia or Wisha I don't know but uh, it, it doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> so Wistia.com and then what, what we're going to do is you have to make sure that when you are working for a specific platform, you know how to navigate, what are the features and how you would be able to get into the specific thing. So for example, for this, uh, this, um, this is a Wistia.com and in order for you to upload the, uh, upload the video, you need to log in, you need to go to specific tab, you need to go to specific menu, and you need to go uh, to specific folder and so on and so forth so you know what you're going to do uh, and you're, you already have an advanced uh, thinking what you have to do next after you do the other things okay so in this case I already know that I'm gonna put the video in this folder because obviously this is a case study or a um, 
what you call it. I just you can see this this is case study page and I know it's related to that. So this is the location that I'm going to upload the video. So I'm just click that folder. And yeah, this is already a folder. This is a folder and in order for you to create a folder in Wistia, you have to click action and get create new project. So basically project and folders in Wistia is pretty much the same. So you get into that project or folder and then you have to go upload here. You see there are a lot of options to do so. And you have to choose or to locate that file wherever it's saved. So we're almost 78%, 79. Let's just wait. And I'm thinking what I'm going to say while we're waiting for that. So probably, hmm. Well, anyways, I'm just, let's just pause the video and then I will resume later on once, once it's done. And now the video is done converting. So let's go and take a look at that. Take a look. It's now 56 MB. And if we view the uh, video, let's see. Let's see. Let's go back. You see that still on a great quality. Yeah, it's amazing. So the quality has been retained and the size Look at that. It's 56 MB compared MB compared to 200 MB. It's uh, I think four times uh, less or three times less, whatever. <laughs> I'm I'm not good at math. Okay, so now we're going to upload that and make you know that I already saved that on this folder. You just have to upload that and open up. Let's wait for that and see that. When you have smaller files, uh, the upload speed would be more or lesser. So now you've learned uh, skills in working as a virtual assistant. One of that is converting a video using Handbrake, uploading using Wistia, uh, and, and understanding. And one of the things that I mentioned here is about uh, being um, trying to understand or no, you must have to know and be knowledgeable of the platform that you're using so that you are easily be able to get things done when you're being or you when you're working on that specific task for your client. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. And by the way, this is Dropbox. So the link has been shared to me through Dropbox. So I downloaded that and converted that video as so we have discussed earlier so now we're already in 86 percent done 90 and do, 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 do. now the third part i think we are going to learn here is how to embed this on a page so we have to get the code from this video all right so let's go ahead and click this and what we're going to do is just to get this embed code you see here video actions and embed and share I have a beautiful background here embed inline embed pop up over of course you're going to use inline embed and we're going to copy that and let's see what we could do here so you have to understand what are these features and I think I will just use the original one and then I will just adjust accordingly so you'll notice this is another page or another uh, another platform called Instapage. Instapage is basically a builder, a page builder uh, where you could create pages pretty easily for clients. So uh, probably your client using different different uh, platform to build up their website pages, then uh, you have to adapt or you have to understand or how how the how that platform specific platform works so in this case uh, this platform is pretty easy and pretty great and uh, you see if I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna do here is just to copy because I'm just going to copy this and I'm gonna group first and then control C and control V you see this platform is pretty great so I'm just going to oops the number has been left out 18 yeah so the number has been left uh, let's go ahead and copy that again so control X or control C 
and then let's see if I'm gonna I'm able to copy that here oh there you go so 18 so now it's going to be 20 boop 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 ooh, 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 ooh. the format has been gone since you've been gone da, 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 da. Uh oh uh oh uh oh let's go 20 and now we're going to copy the content from here so relaunch let's just copy that and paste it up here so this is the text and there you go and remember that we have the embed code ready so copy that and let's see uh here's another thing that you could do so since we already have videos here what you could do is to reverse engineer what they're doing so i think uh wistia wistia already or instapage already have this feature to add a video so you just have to add the link instead of an embed code so it seems like it so what you could do is instead of uh, copying this embed code what you could actually just do is to basically get the link to that video here so it's share link so copy link so let's try and see if that's gonna change so I'm gonna click or double click this and replace this and let's see what we got just hit enter I think and we must have a done button here so there you go and you see that it worked pretty easy so let's go ahead and remove some stuff here so we don't necessarily have or need this top align we have to make sure that it's aligned properly everything is working and the title and everything is working right so let's go ahead and base it up creating transition so you have to get some text here to use for this okay and by the way i'm gonna ungroup this first so that the number will be included when i'm going to group this so uh pretty much it so that's uh a lot of things i already taught you here but this is just part of the things that you needed to do being a virtual assistant you just have to master the tools that you that uh, or the platform that your clients are using you just have to learn how they work and then you have to uh, be the best uh, worker as fast as you could to implement things to help them get things done faster so that's the intention or goal being your, an assistant to assist your clients uh, to get things done for them pretty fast and easy so um, and you are a helpmate to them so i think that's pretty much to cover in this video i don't want to bore you up on how things work because you're brilliant already you, i know you already have this uh, skill uh, easy to learn one just one thing that i want you to understand when you're working for specific things is that uh, everything is just learnable everything is learnable i, th I think that's already in vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> funny okay and be yeah so um everything could be learned okay so one thing that you just have to do is to uh, spend your time learning things uh, for a specific or bu for building specific skill set that could help your clients and also could help benefit you uh, to make an income for them uh, for yourselves I mean okay so for your family and of course because you already have developed the skill set that you needed to serve yeah because without the skill set without uh, those things that you already know how to do then you still have nothing to show off uh, to be of service or to serve others of course you need to first invest in yourself to develop a skill set um, especially a skill set of uh, getting things done for others right so I think that's pretty much it and hope this training has been a huge help to you a um, few things few words of wisdom there and a couple of tips and tricks and how to do things what you have to do and some overview of the platform that you could use or that clients are using that you could start learning now so uh, start learning insta page start learning uh, wistia dropbox google drive and so on and so forth 
it's a lot of things that you could learn and we will have more trainings in the community for you to learn more how to serve your clients okay so i think that's all for this video thank you so much and have a great day